Some exciting moments at the Greek theater tonight. Yeah. A performance by singer and songwriter Sixto Rodriguez. Yeah, Rodriguez is the subject of an Oscar-winning documentary called Searching for Sugarman. We got the rare opportunity, though, to talk with him tonight before he took the stage. Let's go live to KTLA 5's Doug Kulk. He's at the Greek now. He's got more on this. Hello, Doug. Hey, good evening, Rick and Courtney. As if it wasn't already the greatest story ever told, well, you could just add to that fairy tale because Rodriguez may have just played in front of his largest American crowd. Have you ever been in darkness? Take a moment to reflect. Yeah. If you knew the story of Sugar Man, can you believe you were playing the Greek theater tonight? You would know just how meaningful his answer is. No, and I can't believe it's so full. <laughs> The artist known as Rodriguez performs in front of a nearly sold out LA crowd tonight. The mayor hides the crime rates. On stage, like he's been there for years. You virtually became a rock star overnight. I'll keep talking, baby. No, <laughs> no, really. Who would have ever thought the 71 year old spent most of his life in poverty? Working odd jobs, construction? Oh, yeah. uh, uh, yes. Uh, Everyday job? Yes, very much. And uh, I can't, where could be? I like to so to speak. Rodriguez came onto the music scene in the early 70s, but was dropped from his label after two failed albums. He went on with life. While the rain drank champagne. In the meantime, his inspirational music had spread to South Africa. His tunes were basically the soundtrack to the apartheid. Rodriguez sold nearly a million records. People say that you were bigger than Elvis and you didn't even know it. <laughs> well, it's, it's, uh, they're kind with that. It wasn't until a bunch of filmmakers making the documentary Searching for Sugarman found the Detroit bricklayer and brought him to South Africa in 1998. Where Rodriguez took to the stage for the very first time. Thanks for keeping me alive. And rocked out in front of thousands who grew up on his music. I don't think there's ever been a story in the history of stories that's <laughs> as compelling as yours. Well, no, I think there's some twists there that are unusual, and it has that fairy tale kind of uh, weaving around, so yeah. Next up at the Greek Theater, tomorrow night, Raul de Blasio, who happens to also be on the KTLA Morning Show tomorrow. And by the way, Rick and Courtney, Rodriguez, yeah, he still lives in the same house he's lived in for the last 40 years. <laughs> That really is a great story.